Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's and our community celebration of the Eucharist. Please join me in the prayer for vocations that's found in the back of your gather hymnal. Father, in the fullness of time, you sent your Son, born of the Virgin Mary, to be our Savior. He preached the good news of our salvation, healed the sick, and cast out evil. Now, as crucified and risen Lord, he pours out on us the Holy Spirit of adoption, making us your sons and daughters. Through the church, he calls us to accept the gospel and to share in your own divine life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life for all people. In your mercy, you do not abandon us. In every age, you raise up men and women to offer their lives for the sake of the gospel and the work of the church. We beg you, therefore, grant to this local church of Patterson an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Give us courageous and faithful men to serve as worthy priests and deacons. Bless us with generous and zealous men and women willing to seek holiness in consecrated life. May we rejoice in an abundance of vocations from our families so that we may yield a rich harvest of good works for your honor and glory. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. During the Easter season, we hear the disciples encounter the risen Christ at different times and in different ways, all the while trying to understand the meaning of the resurrection. We too contemplate the meaning of the resurrection and how we see the risen Lord. We gather here in church where we can seek the presence of Christ as we worship in the word of God, in the holy sacrifice, and in the Eucharist. Let us pray that we recognize the Lord in our midst. Please stand and greet our celebrant, Father Richard, assisted by Deacon Michael, and join in our gathering song number 903 in the Gather Hymnal, Baptized in Water number 903. Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, earth peace, peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, we, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that, rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit bless and guide you as you lead our children to a deeper understanding of the Word of God. The young people may now follow their catechist for their liturgy of the Word. A reading from the Acts to the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did, but God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O oh my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me. And hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine on us. O oh Lord, that the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put your gladness into my heart. Lord, let your face shine on us.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. According to Luke. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and told, said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do you questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because the ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. As he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here for me to eat? He gave them a piece of baked fish. They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witness to these things. The Gospel of the Lord. So we read today, the Gospels are fulfilled by Jesus. And now the disciples are to go out and preach in Jesus' name about repentance and forgiveness of sins to the entire world. And with the power from the Holy Spirit, they will use it as God gave them. Us parents uh, go through all the stages of children, young children, uh, older high school, and then sometimes uh, college. And you can probably relate to the fact that what's the first thing they say when they come through the door, especially the college kids, after they've been eating noodles at college, they come into the house, Mom, what's to eat? I'm starving. And every day when we pick up our granddaughter from preschool, 
uh, we better have some apple wedges waiting for her as we buckle her into her travel seat, for she is hungry. Playground is tough work. Therefore, food is one of the essential nutrients needed for our life. It's needed for the growth, repair, and maintenance of our body and for regulation of vital processes. They provide energy for our body to function. To feel hunger, therefore, is to be alive. We all know that uneasy or painful sensation from lack of food. Thanks be to God, nobody's starving around here, but if you are, it's extreme. Only the living has that feeling of hunger or appetite. Dead organisms need no nourishment. Ghosts and aberrations do not need food. So Jesus today is eliminating the doubt from the disciples after he has been raised from the dead. He tells his disciples when they thought he was only a spirit, not a physical form, he said, no, I'm truly risen from the dead. Look at my wounds. Put your hand in my side. I'm real. And then he's renewing his fellowship with the disciples at table, and he asks them, do you have any food? So Jesus is showing them that he is the Messiah that's been called out in the Old Testament. Several times in Isaiah, this forecast is made, the prophecy is made, and other Old Testament books as well. Isaiah 53 is probably the most famous example seen by us to know the messianic prophecy has been fulfilled. And it speaks of the suffering servant who has died for our sins. And in Isaiah, Isaiah 7.14, it says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign, the maiden with a child, and she will bear a son, and will call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Also written in the scriptures, Repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning in Jerusalem. So Jesus commissioned the disciples today to go out and preach his word, his word of salvation. Now, the word witness has its origin in the Greek word martyr. Some of this witnessing to the world, world requires martyrdom. Hopefully none of us will go to the extreme of having to be a martyr of blood, but we might feel uncomfortable, we might feel shunned for standing up for the Christian rights that we know to exist through our faith. You can only do this if you have the Holy Spirit within you to resist the consequences of standing up for the truth. So therefore, we're all martyred to some small degree if we stand up for what is right, no matter the consequences. We must let the power of the Holy Spirit give us the power to recognize Jesus' presence with our flesh and bones. And in the world, they see us by what we say and by what we do. We have to act on our convictions. When we encounter doubt in others, we should focus on how Jesus handled doubts and fears in the minds of others. He did it by demonstrating the reality of his presence through physical actions and making himself present. I was at an optometrist the other day getting new glasses, still adjusting, and I was chatting with the customer ahead of me in the line to talk to the technician. And uh, this person started bad-mouthing the other technicians behind the counter. But she was telling this one, oh, I like you, though. And so I was a little uncomfortable with that. So I said to her, well, let's worry about, don't worry about them. Be happy for, for the good service and the good professional skills this man has in front of you. Well, I emphasize that positive part three times, and three times she gave negative comments and tried to pull him into the conversation too. Now, no cock crowed, but I was denied three times. <laughs> so the point is, we should look for even small opportunities to demonstrate by our actions our inner beliefs that we have through faith brought to us through the Holy Spirit. We should look for occasions to bring Christ to others 
by our, uh, by our actions and by our words. As Jesus' disciples, we are to recognize the fulfillment of scripture and to preach in Jesus' name about the repentance and forgiveness of sins in the entire world with the power of the Holy Spirit. When necessary, use words. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things seen and all things I believe in one Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Lord and Father before all ages, God from God, light light from light, light, true God, true God, God from true God, begotten, begotten not made, God standing to the Father. Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and punched pile. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, only to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and the life of the world to come. The dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus did not want his disciples to remain troubled, so he assured them of his continuing presence. We now bring the needs that trouble us before the Lord, assured of God's presence in our neediness. For the church, that we may be witnesses to the risen Lord, revealing his presence in our acts of mercy and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace given by the risen Lord to his disciples may continue to spread and flower all over the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, homeless, or neglected, that they and those who care for them may recognize the Lord in each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are serving our nation in the armed forces, especially those who are far from home, and for their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, Janina Marwatmatis, John Weeks, Tracy Toto, Peter Barkowiak, Charlie Fisher, Peter O'Rourke, Patricia Andrea, Kevin Graney, Nancy O'Meara, and for all those suffering extended illness and for those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those that have died, Mary Wright, mother of Michael, and especially for this Mass, Joan Malvey, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for those prayers we hold deep within our own hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly God, your Son reveals himself in the gifts that we bring, the sacrifice that we celebrate, and the Eucharist that we receive. Help us to see him in each other as well. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join us in our offertory song in the breaking of the bread, number 918 in the Gather Hymnal, number 918.
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all the church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may be a fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We will lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at <clears throat> all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like to do fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and to willing to his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope Kevin, our bishop, and Arthur, our retired bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, to with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles. And all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and born by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us what we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace <coughs> and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Good, I hope you get the needs. Come on.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those all to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Praise and glory to God. the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join us in our communion song, We Walk by Faith, number 680 in the Gather Hymnal, number 680.
Two reminders for after Mass, the parish cafe next door is open for business. And also after Mass, we ask all the CCD students who are here with their parents to please come to the front of the church. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Bow our heads. Yeah. Bow our heads for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join us in our closing song, Easter Alleluia, number 537 in the Gather Hymnal, number 537.